Good afternoon, everyone. And my name is Avin Nicola Arrobdes. Together with my teammates, we are going to talk about the concept paper on the correlation of screen time to the quality of academic performance of students. The introduction. Screen time is introduced as the amount of time people spend on the internet, on their phones, on their gadgets. And this leisure time is featured as one of the top common activities people do alongside playing sports and studying. This paper will serve as a guide for everyone new to this concept, to the term screen time, and act as a reference for future researchers. The three organizations would be a cooperative mission that will help accelerate the progress of the project. The organization's goal is to strengthen efforts into helping the youth. Both are suitable for this proposal that will help acquire more information regarding to this concept. Now, in purpose. The purpose of this proposal is to raise awareness in the effects, dangers, and risk of longer periods of screen time to students in today's pandemic. The reason why we chose an awareness program is to determine what are the factors that will affect the students in favor of academic prowess and academic performance. One particular study highlights the factors of screen time that affects the youth. According to Wakefield 2015, students age 5 to 16 years old average about 6.5 hours per day. Teenagers, particularly boys, average about 8 hours of screen time every day, which translates to 116% of screen time consumption. Now, in the background, more than several studies conclude that screen time will cause mild to severe effects that hinder the physical and mental aspects of students. With the addition of external factors that affect the academic performance of students, Sparks 2020 stated that students staring at their phones for longer periods of time will result in reduced reading comprehension and low cognitive skills. In this study, showed that people who are obsessed in screen time compulsively resulted in a low comprehension on reading skills. Outside of the research study, time management are one of the external factors that affect the overall achievement of students. A well-managed time schedule will lead to positive effects and overall a healthy and lively mind for students, according to Nasrullah. What Nasrullah stated is that every, every student must have a manageable time schedule so that they will, it will lead to positive effects. For today, I will be the one discussing the objectives of the paper. The researchers aims to find the correlation of screen time to the quality of academic performance of students aims to identify how the amount of screen time affects the students quality of education. Through this research, the researchers has five objectives that they must achieve in this study. First one is to provide, to provide information on how prolonged exposure to technological devices such as computer or cellular phones to affect the student's educational capacity. Through achieving this objective, researchers can identify in what extent can a student use or expose themselves to computer or cellular phones during their online classes or in working on to their online activities up until where they felt lacking on concentration or anything that relates to deterioration of their learning capacity. Number two, to identify what variables that the effect of screen time in technological devices have to cause such an effect towards educational prowess of a student. Through achieving this objective, researchers can identify what exactly made the prolonged exposure through phones and computers toward the students in terms of their quality of education. Number three, to know if online classes provide a detrimental effect rather than benefits for the students. With the current threat of the pandemic forcing schools to conduct online classes, it is important to know if online classes have its own effect towards the students' education. Online classes or online activities 
its phone and computer to this study, researchers will aim to find its negative effects. Number four, to discover the difference between face-to-face -face classes that is usually conducted in school and online classes in terms of effectivity. This research is also aims to know the difference between face-to-face -face and online classes, considering the students have an access towards the internet through their cell phones and computers, which face-to-face -face classes usually do not allow. In addition, to the students will be focusing themselves towards computer or cell phone screen rather than white or blackboards that is the commonly used in face-to-face -face classes. Through this study, researchers can distinguish the difference of learning while looking to whiteboards and blackboards or through computer and cell phone screens. And lastly, number five, to determine if longer time spent in computer or cellular phones affect the mental and physical health of a student. The mental health and physical health of a student greatly affects or even one of the huge factors that affects the student's learning capacity. With how completely different is the usage of computer in studying than face-to-face -face classes, it is important to know if it can affect the health of the student in studying than face-to-face -face classes. <clears throat> it is important to know if it can affect the student's Mental health also. The usage of computer includes things like radiation through our eyes. Through this study, the researchers can identify if the exposure to this thing can lead to the decrease of learning quality of a student. That's all and thank you. Pitch. Methodology. After conducting interviews with the 10 families who willingly participated in our information gathering, about the correlation of screen time to the quality of the academic performance of the students. We found out that 7 out of 10 parents attest that students today are more restless as compared during to the face-to-face -face classes due to overwhelming requirements given by the professors. Lack of sleep may also result to less productive outcome. Prolonged screen time also exposes the students to higher radiation that causes vision problems such as dry eyes and blurry vision. Our analysis shows that 6 out of 10 students are wearing corrective eyeglasses. In addition, the type and size of font used in all materials to fulfill school requirements is of great factor. Bigger and simpler fonts must be used to reduce eye strain. Most students also suffer different body aches since they are in a, unaware of proper posture considering they are in the comfort of their homes. In terms of age, our information gathering conveys that younger students are more eager to finish school requirements than they fail to take some rest. I am Nelson Diaz Jr. from STEM 126 and I'm going to tackle our timeline on our concept paper. Our first procedure is title making, letting us to seek what is the main problem we should do. Next on it is the title analysis. Let us and let us to analyze more on our title to let us have the more accurate result and discussion to make. Next on that is the consultation by Sir Sai. Next is the research proposal. After that is the approval or the waiting of our approval. Going on week two, we have the introduction making. After that, the study of the objectives of correlation of screen time to the quality of academic performance of students. Going on week three, we have the investigation of materials and methods of correlation of screen time to the quality of academic performance of a students. After that, we have the result and discussion making. Next on it is the conclusion and interpretation. Going to week four and the last week we have done is the reference gathering. In total, we have the four weeks to do our, on doing our research. So that's for our timeline. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you for listening and we hope that you will give the proposal a chance. Thank you. Have a nice day.